fresh water, meet salt water. Hello, Geo students. Welcome to another episode of the Geo Show brought to you today by the Geo Scholar. What is not quite salty, but not quite fresh water? Not quite a sea, but not quite a river. How about an estuary? Yeah, an estuary. Now, what's an estuary? An estuary is a brackish body of water with two or more rivers flowing through it. It has an opening to the sea. It is like a transitional zone between river environments and maritime environments. Brackish means that it has a mix of salt water and fresh water. Estuaries are often influenced by the inflow of saline water from the sea and fresh water from rivers. Estuaries are very productive natural habitats because of the inflow of seawater and fresh water, providing high levels of nutrients. There is also a major human geography factor in this. Many of the world's large cities are founded on estuaries, such as New York City. The lower part of the Hudson River forms an estuary, which empties into the Atlantic Ocean. Buenos Aires, Argentina is located on El Rio de la Plata, which means the River of Silver, but it is actually an estuary. Another example of an estuary is San Francisco Bay. The Sacramento and San Joaquin rivers flow into San Francisco Bay, mixing the fresh water with the salt water. Major port cities such as San Francisco and Oakland are located here. Estuaries have been a very important part of human geography. Port cities have formed on estuaries. Shipping, fishing, access to the sea in general. This has been very important for human beings. And for this, you have port cities forming. Three-fifths of the world's population lives in areas along estuaries on the sea. People don't settle somewhere for nothing. There's a reason people settle there. And in the cases of people settling around estuaries, this is because you have access to the sea. You have areas that are good for shipping, good for harbors. With the good comes the bad. With the economic benefit of being along the sea, you also have issues such as pollution due to poor agricultural practices. You have heavy metals entering the water. You have other forms of waste entering the water, environmental degradation. It's a struggle in finding a balance between using your environment to benefit economically and at the same time trying to keep it intact. There's a lot that has to be considered. The way you think about an estuary, don't just think of it as just some transition zone between the rivers and the sea. Think of it on a much broader scale on a much more dynamic scale. You have environmental geography to consider, human geography to consider, economic geography to consider. So much goes into that. And that's all I have to say for this. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more episodes of The Geo Show, brought to you by The Geo Scholar.